Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and welcome to the Giant Robot News for August 26, 2022. There has been some news this week, so let's get into it. First off, we've got our first in-hand images of Magnificus, aka Black Studio Series Perceptor Redeco. And it's showing a new head sculpt, and that new head sculpt is that of Perceptor with a mouth guard. Now, if I remember correctly, Magnificus was... No, no, that, that is Magnificus. He did just have a mouth guard and yellow eyes. I don't remember if he had a visor or not, but it's a black redeco of Perceptor. Mm, it's probably going to be, what do you call it? SG Perceptor or Shattered Glass Perceptor. So I'm guessing that, but I'd really like it if they called it Magnificus. And I really wish they had a little bit of a thing to cover up that giant hole in the back. It's cool. I think it's legitimately cool. I love the idea of a Decepticon black and purple Perceptor. I don't think this is a shattered glass figure. I think this is going to be a Decepticon because Magnificus was a Decepticon. We got the Decepticon symbol right there. That is not a purple Autobot symbol. So yeah, cool. I'm looking forward to it. I might actually pick this up, even though Percept I've got Perceptor and I don't really want the mold again. I might get this one just because when was the last time we had a Magnificus release? Fellow giant robot reviewer Wotafa, who is, has gotten a hold of the Cannon Cross Transformers Optimus Prime R5 figure. This is an official production sample handed by Takara Tommy to Wotafa for review. Hey, props to you, Wotafa. That's awesome. I know that Wotafa recently also reviewed the mp jetfire i had to think for a second robot mode sure is big and chunky yes it is it is definitely a cannon it's definitely a cannon camera that is yeah i, I mean i have a canon 70d sitting over where, where is that thing oh there it is and that's very much canon or canon design it's even got a battery cover holy crap Yep, yeah, and the lens comes off, and there's the body. Oh, interesting. The lens contains the arms and the robot head. Huh. I, I didn't expect that. That's interesting. And then the rest of the body is the camera. Interesting. I... I didn't expect that. That's cool. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to get these. I'm gonna have to get one of these pre-ordered. If it's not the Prime, I might go for the Refractor. It's Reflector, I'm sorry, but I know they couldn't get ref Reflector, so they went with refract Refractor. Oh, and that's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. I thought that that was going to be smaller or about the same size. That's bigger than Earthrise Prime. Huh. Well, Wotafa sold me on it, so I'm going to go ahead and pre-order this thing. Next up, Diamond Select Toys have updated their website with listings for their new Transformers, Beast Wars, Optimus Prime, and Megatron milestone statues. Both of these were revealed at San Diego Comic-Con 2022, and Optimus Primal is listed for 400, while Megatron is listed for 500. These are 14 inches tall, and they are big. Megatron looks really good. That is... Beast Wars Megatron, that looks fantastic. Except, I, this is a nitpick. His arm is pointing straight out, like he's shooting forward, yet the blast is pointing down. Oh, that, that just irritates me. That's a me thing. That's not a problem with the actual statue. That's just a me thing. That primal statue looks good. I like that primal statue quite a bit. Both of them look really good. So let me open in new tabs so we could get more or closer up views yeah the texture on the gorilla fur is excellent and you know i forget how just kitted out primal was he had swords he had wrist blasters he had cannons on his back the toy has a flail i mean he had a lot of weapons megatron had the the dino cannon and though and his tail which, yeah, he doesn't have the tail here. I would have liked that, but eh, oh well. Robosend Transformers Optimus Prime new auto-converting trailer images. It's apparently huge. 
Now, the actual robot I never picked up. I didn't want to spend $700 plus for a transforming Optimus Prime, no matter how cool that is. Jobby the Hong did an absolutely fantastic review of the figure. I suggest you go watch that. The trailer itself auto-transforms, which is very cool. Comes with a spike, a fully remote-controlled roller, and the trailer itself transforms, which... I'm not going to lie, that is very cool. I like that idea, but the trailer itself is an extra $700. No thank you. Next up, we've got two mini figures. Next up, we've got two figures of small stature, but very cool. First up is Magic Square Toys MSB44B Ken, a legacy scale Diaclone Ironhide. Yeah, Magic Square released Ironhide, aka Ken, recently, and for all intents and purposes i think it was a very cool figure i haven't gotten one yet i just haven't had a chance i think i might pick this one up instead i like the idea of a just a black iron hide i bought the ocular max iron hide years ago and that turned out to be one of the worst third-party figures i've ever bought i, I just i don't want to get into it it was bad but this one looks really cool i really like the look of it it looks both evil and annoyed at the same time, so I like that. And speaking of tiny things that are awesome, here is New Age Jetfire Legend Scale H45 Firefox. This is neat. Now, Magmo Magnamotion already has a video up or a transformation video up. I suggest going ahead and check that out. It's very interesting because the arms actually get transformed up into the backpack. For vehicle mode i didn't expect that to happen but it's a fascinatingly cool looking little figure it stands 18 centimeters tall which is about six seven inches so yeah i i'm oh i'm super tempted to pick this one up i'm very tempted to pick with this one up it, it's just little and cool and finally today hasbro is rethinking toy distribution strategy and this is for big movie lines. So they're not going to release everything at once. And the, there are a couple of reasons for this. So let's go ahead and just read what they said. Tried and tested models still have their place, especially when you've got a consumer products program that leans on core pillars like toys and games. What is interesting now is that we can test and learn. Instead of dropping products based on seasons, we're now looking to where a rollout could be more relevant to a culture in one of our specific markets. If the content is pushed back and we are experiencing a delay at retail, or there are problems getting products on the water, i.e. shipping. It's better to be flexible and have a softer, more phased out launch instead of a big, all-encompassing 360 strategy. So they're looking at, in other words, not releasing everything at the same time is the, the long and short of it. They're looking at smaller releases like they've been doing over the past few months where they're doing little waves here and there, as opposed to the olden days, like in 2007, where they had what like 15 to 20 different figures on the shelves all at once reading the story again this is especially important for hasbro's vault brands such as transformers pig a pig and my little pony which exist in highly competitive toy categories most notably preschool to have a major rollout fall flat due to timing problems is not an option so the company is expanding its arsenal of marketing and engagement tools now that last paragraph is very interesting so that tells me that they've had a couple of toy brand or toy launches just fall flat and do really poorly because of one reason or another. So they're going to be very, very picky about how to roll this stuff out. Oh, and this quote is from Hasbro's VP of EMEA and Asia, Marianne James. And EMEA is the European market, by the way. This is interesting. So would this affect the U.S., or is this just going to affect Europe and Asia? I don't know. That's really interesting, because Europe, and Europe specifically already has it hard enough with getting new figures. The Asia market, not so much, or doesn't seem to have that much trouble. It's especially for the people that are stealing stuff from factories. But otherwise, yeah, th this is interesting. 
don't know if this is worldwide. It remains to be seen. We'll have to just wait and see. All right, folks, that's it for Friday, August 26, 2022. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you all next week.